Introduction Have you ever been to the bank of River Yamuna in Delhi? No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I have been there once. But, ma'am, there is a very unpleasant smell in the river and it is extremely dirty. Yes, Gaurav, you are absolutely correct. Yamuna River is now one of the most polluted rivers of India. But it was clean before. Have a look. And now our activities have made it polluted and it appears dirty. How are we making this river polluted? Many of our activities destroy the clean state of rivers such as throwing plastic bags, pollution from the cars, dumping of industrial wastes. Let us explore them in detail and their effects on our environment. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define the term environment and list its living and non-living factors. Discuss the concept of ecosystem, its components and groupings of biotic components. Form a series of organisms feeding on one another, food chains and webs. Elaborate on how human-made activities influence our environment. Ecosystem An ecosystem is a natural system consisting of all plants, animals and microorganisms in an area functioning together with all the non-living physical factors of the environment. Components of Ecosystem Ecosystem comprises the following two components. 1. Biotic factors including all living organisms. 2. Abiotic factors that includes physical factors such as sunlight, temperature, chemical factors such as mineral content, soil moisture, etc. Types of Ecosystem There are two different types of ecosystems. They are 1. Natural Ecosystem in which we have forests, deserts, grasslands, mountains, etc. And 2. Artificial ecosystem, in which, example, parks, gardens, crop fields, zoo, etc. are exists. Classification of biotic components of ecosystem. Biotic components of our environment can be classified into three major groups. They are producers, consumers and decomposers. Now we will learn in detail that what are producers, consumers and decomposers. Producers are organisms like green plants that produce organic compounds from inorganic compounds. A consumer is the organism that obtain nutrients from other organisms. And the decomposer are microorganisms which decompose dead plants and animals. They decompose complex organic substances into simple inorganic substances in the soil which are again used by the plants. Food chain. A food chain is a succession of organisms in an ecological community that constitutes a contribution of food energy from one organism to another as each consumes a lower member and in turn is preyed upon by a higher member. A food chain begins with a producer. Producers are eaten by primary consumers, herbivores, which are eaten by secondary consumers, carnivores, some of which may in turn be eaten by tertiary consumers, the top carnivore in the chain. Trophic level Each step in a food chain where transfer of food energy takes place is called trophic level. The first trophic level consists of producers. The second trophic level consists of primary consumers. The third trophic level consists of secondary consumers. The fourth trophic level consists of tertiary consumers. Since the transfer of food energy decreases at every trophic level, the number of trophic levels are limited and do not exceed 4 or 5. Trophic Levels Energy flow in trophic levels of a food chain. Green plants producers absorb about 1% of solar energy falling on the leaves and stores. During the transfer of food energy from one trophic level to the next, 90% of the energy is lost to the environment and only 10% is transferred to the next trophic level. So, there is a decrease in the amount of food energy transferred at every trophic level by 10%. This is known as the 10% law of energy transfer. Biomagnification Harmful chemicals like insecticides and pesticides, which are used to protect crops from insects and pests, are absorbed by plants and enter the food chain. Since these chemicals are non-biodegradable, they get accumulated at every trophic level and their concentration increases. Since human beings occupy the highest trophic level, 
The concentration of these harmful chemicals is maximum in our bodies. The increase in concentration of harmful chemicals in the bodies of organisms at hyotrophic levels is called biological magnification. Food web The complex system of interrelated food chains in an environment is known as food web. How do human activities affect the environment? Human activities produce a lot of waste materials which are thrown away into the environment. These wastes cause pollution of air, water and soil. The waste materials produced are of two main types. They are biodegradable waste and non-biodegradable waste. The household waste is called garbage. Garbage causes pollution of air, water and soil. So, it should be disposed properly. Some of the methods of garbage disposal are landfills, recycling, production of biogas and manure, preparation of compost, incineration, sewage treatment, depletion of ozone layer in the atmosphere. Ozone molecule contains three oxygen atoms, O3. At higher levels in the atmosphere, the UV radiation splits some oxygen molecules, O2, into free oxygen atoms, which combine with oxygen molecules, O2, to form ozone. The ozone layer present in the higher layer of the atmosphere protects the Earth from the harmful UV radiation from the sun. UV radiation causes skin cancer in humans. The ozone layer is being damaged by the use of chemicals like chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, used in refrigerators and fire extinguishers. So the use of CFCs is now being reduced to protect the ozone layer. Did you know? Monotrial protocol was established in 1987 on the substances that deplete the ozone layer. It is an agreement that has successfully reduced the global production, consumption and emission of ozone depleting substances. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. An ecosystem comprises of the interactivities between its biotic and abiotic components. Biotic components of ecosystem comprises of producers, consumers and decomposers. The series of organisms taking part at various biotic levels form a food chain. There is continuous loss of energy as we move from one trophic level to another trophic level of a food chain. Waste generated can be classified into biodegradable and non-biodegradable wastes. The use of chemicals like CFCs is causing ozone depletion.